Taking us through the programmatic landscape in India, I have Mr. Tejinder Gill, General Manager of the Trade Desk India, joining us for an insightful conversation. We welcome you, Mr. Gill. Thank you, Samaya. Uh, pleasure to be here. So, uh, let's begin with understanding a bit about Trade Desk India. Uh, how has your journey been so far? What gaps does Trade Desk uh, really fill, you know, in terms of its offering? Sure, uh, happy to share um, our journey of last almost one year. So we launched uh, Trade Desk in India in uh, June 2021. Next month, we are hitting a one year uh, milestone. Uh, as you know, Trade Desk is a technology company that empowers buyers of advertising by capturing the fast growing opportunities in open internet. Through this platform, marketers can basically buy uh, various ads across platforms and channels, right? Um, uh, how has been last one year for us? Uh, I would probably categorize it into three or four key pillars. Uh, one has been we've done strategic hiring uh, to accelerate the growth in India. So we've got uh, five directors across uh, Gurgaon and Bangalore uh, heading multiple roles uh, with diverse backgrounds. Uh, second biggest achievement for us is that we've opened our first engineering hub in India in Bangalore. Uh, which is actually the fifth in APAC after Australia, China, Hong Kong, and Singapore. Uh, and the idea of this new facility is to tap into vast product and engineering talent pool we have in India and how company can advance innovation for programmatic advertising based out of India. Yeah. Uh, the, the second core pillar where uh, we are contributing to the success of the ecosystem is uh, we have a programmatic program called as the Edge Academy. Uh, we have rolled out the same in India, where we have now more than 2,000 plus certified professionals across the country. And as you know, programmatic talent is, is a challenge. So we are, we are nurturing the talent for the future. Uh, from a business point of view, uh, we've cracked some interesting partnerships uh, across uh, OTT, data, publisher, across OTT. We are now integrated with Disney plus Hotstar, Amex Player, with data, we have done it with Zapper and Lifestyle uh, from a CTV, Samsung has been the key. Um, and if you if you really ask me, um, uh, like what is the broader vision, right? We're trying to build a scalable platform of choice for marketeers in India. And I think choice is the key word here. Um, from last decade or so, digital marketeers have been missing choice. It is restricted to walled gardens. And that is the big shift that we are trying to bring uh, in, in programmatic landscape. Very nice. Uh, so talking from a more industry lens, how open is India as a market when we talk of programmatic advertising? Are we still at the nascent stage or have we achieved uh, you know, certain milestones uh, in that sense? Yeah, sure. So I think programmatic journey started in India somewhere around four years ago, uh, roughly. Uh, and the true definition of programmatic uh, has still not been achieved in, in India as a market. It actually started for something uh, called as programmatic guaranteed, which was actually a glorified version of doing insertion orders, uh, right, in digital advertising. Uh, programmatic, if you think about it, it's one of the fastest moving and most innovative sectors of tech and marketing, right? And the rapid shift has basically happened because of newer channels like OTT, CTV, which has come up. Um, and if you look at the advances in measurement and data, um, every data point can help you generate right insights. Uh, so marketers would love to uh, latch on to programmatic. What I've seen in last four or five years uh, from the time I've started my journey uh, on programmatic is it was used to be like programmatic as a one line item, then it moved to like programmatic also kind of a model uh, then it moved to programmatic first and now i feel the time has come where the media plans should be programmatic only um, and a lot okay. of uh, large fmcg companies are already working in that direction and if i have to give you a very high level number uh, the programmatic share in 2021 was roughly around 42 percent uh, and in next two years it is expected to touch 70 percent so every marketer wow. is working and moving 
uh, right towards that uh, number. Uh, and interestingly, what also happens with programmatic, it gives advertisers ample amount of control, uh, right? To optimize, to launch, to pause campaigns, uh, and everything can happen in a very real time environment. Um, and and that is one of the biggest advantages uh, of programmatic. And I see, you know, it will only multiply from here on with the kind of technology which is coming into the market. Sure. So you've spoken about the silver linings of programmatic advertising, but I also want to understand the challenges that you know marketers uh, on a day to day basis uh, realize or are uh, unhappy with or want to change in the system. Yeah, sure. I think uh, probably there. Are Probably two challenges that I foresee. Uh, one is, as I told you, programmatic in India is considered only as PG, which is programmatic guarantee, uh, which is actually not the true form of programmatic. Programmatic is all about decisioning, right? Every impression that gets served on internet has many data points linked to it. Now, mm-hmm. decisioning actually takes care of all the data points and then give you the right impression for the right audience. However, what happens in the case of programmatic guarantee, it is like the inventory is fixed, the price is fixed and the total cost is fixed, which is actually not one of the two forms of programmatic. And I think that's the that's a mission we are on where we would love to educate the market and the entire ecosystem about what what is programmatic how decisioning helps them. And I think there are a lot of learnings from Western market, right? They're very mature markets who have already moved towards decisioning compared to the programmatic guaranteed model. Like that's the first big challenge I see um, on programmatic. The second one is, uh, I'm sure you would have heard about the cookie-less world uh, moving forward, right? I think this is the opportunity for our entire internet to reset. And Trade Desk is already working with the industry to build a identity solution, which is a direct replacement for cookie. Um, and cookies are basically meant for display advertising and that pie is actually shrinking. But that also gives us an opportunity to build something bigger, better, more sophisticated, more open, um, uh, more interoperatable. Um, okay. So UID, which is our uh, initiative, which we have handed over to the governing body, uh, the PRAM now is uh, definitely solving for this. Uh, an interesting thing uh, that I foresee with the cookie less future is um, that ad measurement kind of problems can be solved, right? If you look at the cross channel uh, measurement, which is OTT, CTV, audio, all these newer channel, which are part of the fastest growing open internet, uh, identity solves for it. And it's a good news for the entire internet that cookies are fading away it's a three decade old technology and we are all set for something new and awesome uh, in next uh, five to ten years to come sure so talking of this cookie less world how ai is really driving programmatic advertising here uh yeah so so i think ai uh, uh, you know if you look at ai it's not only related to tech tech or advertising uh, industry right financial Industries use it, logistics use it, even sports use it today. Mm. Uh, a cricket match is happening and you can get live insights about any player. Um, but I think in digital advertising industry, it plays a very, very core role, uh, especially at Trade Desk. Uh, big data is fundamentally the core to our business. Like we live and breathe data all the time. Um, and just to give you some numbers on an average, our platform sees more than 1 trillion ad opportunities per day, which actually mm. translates 13 million ad opportunities every second and and look at the kind of speed the AI and big data is working uh, mm-hmm. you know to to launch to show an ad to a u- user uh, in, in simple terms um, right. and if you're booking an advertising campaign as a trading analyst it's virtually impossible to evaluate the overwhelming amount of data um, mm-hmm. and uh, you know some of our engineers would be working on this in the Bangalore office um, uh, which, which we are scaling now um, and the advanced AI technology basically recognizes and interprets those patterns uh, right to surface precise media buying strategies because earlier it was used to be a very standard format of saying you want to X publisher at Y price um, and Z cost and you know uh, at a certain date but now uh, everything is happening on a very very real time let's say you are looking out for mothers um, 
and you are an advertiser then in micro milliseconds the ad request goes finds the right set of audiences at the right price at the right time which gives them the best roi and all of this is is making the world much more sophisticated right uh, you touched upon the ott segment in one of your answers so it is expected that in the future most ott players would have an ad supported version right how are advertisers really looking at this and how are you helping them augment this change yeah sure um, i don't know if uh, if you read uh, our ceo jeff green's interview probably 3 3 years ago right where he predicted that uh, netflix uh, will come up with a advertising back model right uh, and that has just come true a couple of weeks ago but uh, you know if you look at brands uh, they should look look to pivot to where eyeballs are moving right as a global technology leader uh, you know we help brands optimize media buys on ott platforms so what it means to market is is that ott provides incremental reach to tv right and that's that's one of the core fundamentals of planning uh, mm-hmm. by digital marketers so if you look at advertising on ott it allows brands to reach out to the audience with more precision and accuracy using data uh, and that is actually not possible on traditional linear tv right so incremental reach is one part of it like second is uh, programmatic ott buys help you preserve a very positive brand experience for the consumers right uh, if you look at most of the viewers they are on ott today um cord cut cord cutters are uh, uh, are increasing with every single day passing by um, thanks to covid for that um, and if you look at you know it's very important that brands keep frequency capping in mind so that all all those very small things are very much possible on uh, uh, on uh, on programmatic and especially on ott look at linear tv you'll keep seeing ads one after the other because the spots yeah. needs to be free, right yeah. but when it comes to programmatic ott you can actually as a marketer control it from your hands and say hey somewhere should not see yeah. three ads per day or two ads per day and that's optimal for her which increases the uh, uh, actually the the brand the consumer experience right um and also i think what is happening is uh, with open internet coming in a uh, programmatic ott also enables you to access dozens of ott players under one platform right so there is a high possibility of having a de duplicated reach right so you can reach a user a on platform b and c on platform d uh, which gives a very different unique reach uh, uh, to the marketers and i think uh, as a omni channel platform uh we enable marketers to reach relevant uh, audiences across devices whether it's mobile computers tablets connected tv um and in fact i was uh, talking to uh, one of the chief revenue officers of a large company and we interestingly chatted about why connected tv it should be connected devices right which should say alexa which should be tv should be part of it uh, apple tv should be part of it and and look at where where the ecosystem is Uh, driving and look at the touch points that a consumer is actually getting uh, yeah. through the day right uh, and and i think that that's what uh, omni channel strategy helps it brings everything together in a seamless way targeting the right consumer giving the best roi to the market here sure. okay so coming down to my last question what are some of the upcoming trends in the digital advertising industry yeah sure um I think probably two or three key trends, and I call them as uh, the three C's actually of uh, uh, of digital marketing. First is cookies, um, and by cookies I mean like depreciation of the cookies, uh, death of the cookies, or demise of the cookies, right? Uh, and marketers are basically now concerned about uh, targeting advertising in the future and ad frauds. And digital advertising will be more focused on how consumers. get more control over data and privacy um and if you look at uh, as i spoke on earlier right which is now looking for a bigger and a better solution uh, right which is alternate to cookies which prioritizes basically consumer privacy transparency uh, more sustainability um uh, and it should also explain the value exchange between marketers and consumers right um and uid 2.0 is actually a new and a better alternative to cookies which helps you to not only to 
target but also measure things on time like that's cookies is one trend i see um, second one is ctv uh, interestingly uh, you know indians are continuously shifting from linear tv to connected tv uh, look at the change in consumer behavior of our kids right they are they don't even you know watch linear tv anymore um and almost 70% of indians now spend 1 to 2 1 to 4 hours actually on ctv um and this this time spent is increasing with every single day um and there there is a expectation that we'll have 40 million connected devices in next 2 years uh, right in the country and uh, and if you look at the difference between linear tv and connected tv like on linear tv brands cannot apply any data driven insights right they cannot target specific audiences and that's the drawback and that's what is driving the growth of ctv amongst marketers and the beautiful thing is advertise the cookies are non existent in ctv right which which is a big thing um third and probably the last uh, trend which is my favorite is i think connecting advertising with more business outcomes right i think uh, in every board meeting every cfo is asking a question to marketers on what is the roi of ad dollar spent and how it is getting tied back to the real time business outcomes so traditionally marketers are used to measure on cpm cpas click through rates um, but that is not good enough to show the end result um, and thanks to pandemic now using programmatic you can actually tied back to the real uh, world outcomes and i think we've done a partnership with lifesite which helps you to optimize on the basis of footfalls or or dealership visits right towards the end so you can you can actually adjust your digital campaign based on the final outcomes and which is where the world is moving towards um, and and i think uh, 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 this entire omni channel marketing ctv data uh, you know all these things club together will probably help us to get the the best outcome for marketers sure i think some very interesting insights there uh, i wish you all the best for your journey ahead and thank you so much for taking out time today thank you so much and super thrilled and excited about the the trade desk and overall how the programmatic market is shaping up in india and we'd love to play a little role uh, in the journey so thank you so much uh, some for taking time out really appreciate you